level. He was marvellous in creating chances for his teammate Levetti and just put them away then saying, you know, what do you want? A big ribbon tied around it? Notice Blanc give go, get it and move. Yeah. Good positive stub by Lauren. That's wonderful to see. You mentioned the smile on Levetsi's face. Even more important to see a smile on Slothin's face. That's something we might not have seen a few years ago. True enough. Some substitutes getting set. Casamiro and Di Maria, the two of them. So who will be sacrificed at the altar? I see Di Maria having a good chat with his countryman there, Javier Pastore. Would guess Isco would be the player coming out for Di Maria. But still to be confirmed. I also wonder, do you really want Ronaldo to play the full 90? I'm sure the fans do. These Real Madrid players do get on the big jumbo jet heading for the United States of America and the Guinness Cup of Champions. And Mr. Slick will be leading the way, probably going to pilot the flight. Taking on the LA Galaxy. Yeah. And Landon Donovan likely as that showdown in Phoenix, actually. So Modric and Isco, it appears. Well, talking about Isco, such a good start. Did not appear to be starstruck, but Di Maria too valuable. At the same point, Luka Modric, not exactly the Xavi Alonso. See what happens in this second half. <laughs> Underway to start this second half. No changes, it appears, for PSG. Still Sirigu in the net. Jalet, Alex Sacco, and Maxwell. Thiago Motu has been outstanding in that central slot with Matuidi, Pastore, Lucas Mora, Lavezzi, and Ibrahimovic leading the front line. Lavezzi with three or four chances in the first half, and after a few words from Laurent Blanc, it looks like he's going to get a chance here in the second to add to it. Diego Lopez still between the pipes. Adan, the backup here today. No Casillas yet. Whipped across. Pastore with a half-hearted touch. Carvajal, who's been outstanding on this right side, Pepe, Nacho, and Coentrao. Kadira, now Casamira. Along with Di Maria, Uzi, Ronaldo, and Benzema, the goal scorer. Flipped off to the near side. Mesut Uzi dragging Sacco with him. Strong defense from the 23-year-old. Much made of... The arrival of Thiago Silva last year, Marquinhos this year. There's some depth being built by PSG. Slatan getting a message in against the Brazilian. Another. And it looks like the referee, Michael Lugeos, is going to have a few words. Now it's Kadira who goes down. Just gave him the hot foot. Smiles in Swedish. Oh, the German muttering down on the ground. 26 7 and 5 last year for Real Madrid. 103 goals scored, and they still fell shy of Barcelona by 12 goals and 15 points. I wonder with the switch from Tito to Tata if that's enough to kind of balance things out the switch from Mourinho to Ancelotti and maybe even tilted in Madrid's favor. That's still to come, of course, be in sport.tv for all the latest schedules. Definitely looking forward to the Clásicos this year. Whipped away by Sirigu. Maxwell, strong pickup by Benzema, wide for Messi Uzil. Sacco again will clear. Hall. Former Leverkusen man. 20 years of age and he was the best defender in the Bundesliga on that right side. 
And remember, that's where Philip Lahm was playing as well. All the way to the near side now. Just too far for Uzil and a goal kick upcoming. Former Verde man, still just 24. And now with Zinedine Zidane. Oh, Sacco thought that Maxwell was behind. Both teams maybe still in the dressing room. Mesut Uzil, I think, might be the one to benefit the most with Zidane's move down to the sideline as the top assistant for Carlo Ancelotti. Bit of a hush in Gothenburg. Players screaming out instructions as the fans waiting for a bit more magic. Ray, we were talking about this during the break. Regardless of what happened last year, you're confident once they start playing for real, Casillas grabs that starting spot. I am, but they can have a... Unabashed, unashamed adoration for Sintica for what he did with Real Madrid and, of course, for the great Spanish national team. Still think he's one of the world's best, but he has been admirably supported by this wonderful goalkeeper, the ex Villarreal man, nice Diego Lopez. For Trau, sending Di Maria off to the races, blocked by Jalet. Whipped back for Casemiro. Nodded down. Kadira. Benzema. Nicely. Driven inside. Magic. Carvajal. Uh, chested away to safety by Jalet. Wonderful ball from Mesut Ozil. Again, rainbow pass. Stabbed over the top of this PSG lane to perfection. The cross just not quite good enough. But lovely patient play and then it falls to the dagger man. Mesut. Dangerous at the near post, but Jalet standing strong. Super Cup match, as you saw during the half against Bordeaux. Last year they played that in New York, if I recall. This year in Gabon in Africa. August 3rd. And you know. Laurent Blanc's going to have his new side ready for his old Girondon. Well, as Barcelona await the arrival and their performances of Tata Martino's men, this Real Madrid club got to be really infused with the way their transition from Mourinho to Ancelotti has gone, the way it's been welcomed by the players and the press and everybody in Madrid. We'll see if it all works out, but with the record that Ancelotti brings, his wonderful success with his other clubs, you've got to be wholly optimistic if you're a Real Madrid fan. Ball dropped back, top of the 18, Mota, not one to pull his own nice trigger much. Chance now for Pastore. Ball, oh. a little hard perhaps. Well, it needed to be pinged in, and usually when you've got Ibra, he can caress it back to your good ball. Now out wide, playing catch-up, usually brings it back to his... Lethal left set for Ronaldo trying to freeze Alex. Knocked down Di Maria, but just deflected wide. Alozil waiting and waiting again, trying to set up Cristiano. Finally gets it to Cristiano, but this is good, responsive defending, closing them down. Angel spanks it, takes a little bit of a deflection on the way, just as well, perhaps. So the power was there, and maybe the placement was enough to beat Sirigu. Good defending in the end. Let's you by Sacco. Di Maria. To the six. Oh. Ronaldo denied Sirigu, and the rebound shot set high. What a shot, but what a save. A bucket full of knuckles header here. Take a look. Rises like a salmon out of a babbling stream. Beautiful header. Again, he makes it look so easy. He's not the most demonstrative of headers in lifetime, but you see that punch from those neck muscles getting incredible power on the hit. Unfortunately, directly at Sirigu. He couldn't angle it away, but a wonderful attempt 
by Cristiano. Mezut getting up a bit slowly. Oh, now Mota. A lovely piece of skill there from Mezut. Wonderful little stab over the onrushing defender. It's got clipped a little, I thought. Quick step up. Now wide for Maxwell. Slotten on this left side. Oh, quickness. Considering he's a giant, makes it even more impressive. Talk about Barcelona. Launch long. What a performance they had against Valadenga. Saw that on BN Sport in Espanol. 7 nothing. Lionel Messi finding Alexis Sanchez early on. Messi then to Teo. When it was all over, they played the kids again in the second half. And what a performance, by the way, they had against Dortmund the other day, almost going scoreless in the second half before finally surrendering their goal. But here adding to it, the next Eto they've been calling him, Jean Marie Dongu, with two goals in the second half. And Valerenga not exactly the same caliber as PSG, but Real Madrid still with the lead just in front of Maxwell. Slotten showing a bit of frustration here. Maxwell back to win it. Pastore held. This is a very important PSG team that Real Madrid's playing against film defensively. They look pretty assured in front of Diego Lopez. And again, leads to this. Got a lot to do. Two against six. Another for Ronaldo. Sacco tries to stay with them. A laser that Sirigo somehow parries wide. Well, beautiful by Benzema on this run. Leads Cristiano. Lovely hesitation right there and then unloads. But that's good reading by Salvatore Sirigo. It's Palermo goalkeeper right there. Doing well. It's a blast coming at him. Now, Luzu dragging Pastore with him. Sees it all the way across to Cointrao. Just over the head. Ronaldo shows again. Luzu into the 18. Drops it. Casemiro tried to caress it forward for Benzema. In for the Frenchman. Poke free. Chance blasted low from Kadira and smothered by Sirigu. Nine shots. Now they make that ten for Real Madrid. Just six for PSG. Astori, head held high. Finding Lavezzi. Strong run, Matuidi, but the pass a bit stronger. Kept alive by Nacho, did not want to give up a corner. Good play by the youngster. Maxwell again for Levetsi. And no Cavani yet. Still recovering from his extended time with Uruguay in the offseason. They do have Alvaro Morata, another player out of their reserve squad. Available on the bench. Kaká as well. And Ancelotti having some good things to say about Kaká, but did say the one thing he really needs to work on is to try and get that speed back from his days at Milan. Well, he's been undergoing a real disciplined, regimented, heavily regimented, and heavy duty training scheme Phil and by all accounts he's been showing up very well so we may yet see the best of Ricky it's going to be a big step up for him been hugely disappointing over the years needs to be said and it's fair and squarely said because the talent has just got to be really backed up by his fitness so good luck to him he's got a wonderful manager that he's really produced his best football of his career under so We'll see if it comes to life again. This type of team playing in the blue here should inspire Ricky because they're looking top dogs. Mota looking for the opening 
finds Lovetsi. Lovetsi. Again, lovely formation by the Blues. No way through. Beautifully choreographed back lane. Just now, oh, the cat calls coming down now towards Ezekiel. Just never nice to hear. But the ex Napoli man responding for the boss. The problem of it is, you, know, you feel a little guilty stating it because we set it up before the game that this is a man that really does need to have a break game and he's had the opportunities. Look out. Great chance as Ronaldo flies past Jalet, threads it through, but it's cut ball. off by Maxwell. Ozil started it off, playing it out to Cristiano, wanted the return. Zlatan. Lovely touch. Keeps it rolling for Maxwell. Well weighted. Over. Cover Pepe. Kept alive by Lucas Mota. Mota. Back for Lucas. Lavezzi on a hop. Two things shown there. Some of the talent from Levetsi and perhaps also realizing he might be exiting soon. Why not have a go? Nice cut by Carvajal, edge of the 18. There was contact. The referee says no. Carvajal still down. PSG will stop the play, but this one very close to what could have been a penalty. Cut past Maxwell and Mota caught him. Take a look, Daniel cuts on the inside. Is a little bit of a clip outside of the box, I think. There's the chance. Obviously going to have a pop from there, but look at Ibrahimovic there, just coasting in behind the upper story. Also, but the way it's gone for Ezekiel, he's going to chance his arm over distance when he's got an open invitation to strike through. Ball never made it to touch, so the drop ball to start us out, and this is Ursula and Real, the sporting play to get it back to PSG. So 30 minutes left to go in this one. Real Madrid with the one nothing lead over PSG in Gothenburg. Now, Three hours away from Zlatan Ibrahimovic's hometown of Malmo. Now Zlatan wanting to play well for the home fans, but he hasn't had as many chances as he would like. Real Madrid so lethal on the counter. As you dragging Sacco, drops it back. Met by Ronaldo and Sinigu down quickly. Now for Pastore, good run, Lavezzi sending it wide to Slatan and the PSG captain trying to wrong foot Cohen Trow, just shrugs him off, deflected inside. Pastore not enough and cleared away by Pepe. Magic by Zlatan and the hold up, he's got nobody to pull it back to. Everybody in a square line to Zlatan, there's no easy pullback for him. Looking for his other midfielders to arrive and he has a look at the goal. Just out of picture is Four defenders closing in on Mesut Özil, but that's the other step through. It was nearly uh, very much a carbon copy of the goal. Sako will exit. Thiago Silva coming in. And Verratti will check in. That one for Lavezzi, it appears. On Genda as well. So three substitutions for PSG as we flip back. Well, here's the replay that we were, I was expecting earlier. The ball set up beautifully for Benzema, but look at how he is attracting and waiting on all of the defenders. And then just at the right time, he pulls it out of his hat. He's just waiting and holding up, and then the slingshot is super impressive. The hesitation by Mezut for the prime 
moment is wonderful. By the way, you're the man to keep an eye on Ervin on Genda. Obviously, the players that have also come in, maybe bigger names, but on Genda, a goal against Tomerby and the young 18 year old, very promising. Ibrahimovic dropping to the midfield. Casemiro trying to keep him in front. Delicate touch on Genda, not quite ready. Forced wide, and Jale will recover. And August 3rd against Bordeaux. A week later, they'll be taking on Montpellier in the first of Ligue 1. Opens up Lucas. Zlatan keeps it alive. Nice Flip touch. wide, Verratti. Lucas chipping it in. Well met by Pepe to clear. Kadira off target. Maxwell. Pastore. Lucas. Mota. Another chance for Pastore, threaded for Maxwell, but offside by a stride. Midway through the second half. He's slowing down just a bit from the rapid pace in the first. Where the goal scorer in Benzema. Ronaldo coming close a number of times. Bounces over. Interesting that Silva joining up with Alex. Hard hit. Nacho stepping forward. Alex Jale. Mota trying to find Eber, but now uses him to open up for Maxwell. Back for Ibrahimovic. Oh, well pass. disguised. The run back for Slatan. Magic again. Good ball. Beautiful. Ah. Tiago again, not a shooter. Verratti now. Verratti with help sends it wide. Whipped to the back post and off balance. Lopez breathes a sigh of relief as that one goes wide. He's inches away. Beautiful football from PSG. Verratti leading him away. And then the slingshot is so close to finding that back post and nestling in the back of the net. But brilliant by Ibrahimovic earlier with a number of wonderful hold ups. And then. The final decision to release, creating helter skelter chaos inside of the box of Real Madrid. Ball sails long. More substitutions checking in. Benzema will exit. Kaká will check in. Likely means. That Ronaldo will slide closer to the front line, at least for a while. Ronaldo doesn't like being that first man up front to take the physical abuse, but he also likes getting on the scoreboard. And now let's see if that hard work will pay off for Kaká. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't mind the abuse. He could take a chop and axe to him, and he'll still come back asking if you want any more. And he does like floating off of that play out. It's correct, but he can take all of the abuse in the world and then more. Agenda, the return pass a little too far. And away with the departure of Gamedo, Agenda with a chance to grab that third forward spot. Goal in Sweden against Tomerby. Let's see if he can follow it up here. Be a little harder against Real Madrid, to say the least. I almost think Cristiano doesn't get enough credit for taking that sort of abuse. And it's his image, of course, but he's a hard, hard player. He is. Back for Carvajal. 
Nizil. and Kadira. He's hard in a different way. It's not the chop and axe alley type of mentality, but this man on the ball stands up to everybody. Dakar. Nizil. Top of the 18. Di Maria flips, but just off the run of Cohen Trow. Sidigo quickly getting it forward. 69th minute. Di Maria trying to stab it over the top there. Maybe a little shuffle ball in. Downstairs was the requisite pass. Slatan back to Verratti. The next Pirlo they've described him as. Touches like that show you why. Jale. Back for Verratti. Just won't hold for Ibra, and the flag had come up. Needed a bit better service. We saw this last year, Ray. Years past, Ibrahimovic maybe would have been frustrated and let it boil over. Last year, maybe more of a veteran leader, and that was one of the reasons PSG was able to make that final jump back into the championship ring. Purely brilliant. All the critics and cynics be damned. Ibrahimovic, magnificent footballer, world class, nothing less. Slata. Pepe on the run. Got a lot to do. Oh. 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 It was back to the days of Barcelona. What a great start it was for Ibrahimovic to fade away in the second half. No such problem since joining PSG. Roto realizing he has a mistake to make up for. Ronaldo. Oh, what a tackle. But straight to Di Maria. Finds Ronaldo. Wide for Ozil on his left. And just wide of the near post. The Close split to second from getting it early there. Ozil. Cristiano kind of get that back heel. He got a turn and stab it towards Mesut. And he goes for goal, but it's too late. The windows of opportunity closing up. A bad giveaway, as you said, fell from Thiago Mata and Real Madrid nearly making them pay with those jackals. Lucas on gender. Back for Verratti. Oh, but the run was not ready. Jale. Just got stuck in the traps. Verratti, still just 20 years of age. So well stated, Phil. It truly is. And the kids come to PSU with a massive reputation that he's got to pay on those 20 year old shoulders. That in itself, enormous pressure cooker for him at a club like PSG. Just give that some thought, people. That's a, a real cherub. It's still really developing, but a burgeoning talent. Real Madrid Verratti. was one of the teams that was looking to get him. Helped PSG to the championship last year. Now looking to try and help them get to another Champions League back heel from Slatan. Good step up Silva, but the header just off target. Kaká lets it bounce, and he won't touch it again. Maxwell with a couple more subs getting set. Kingsley Coleman, looks like Vanderville. So Jalais day nearly done. In for the stride of Kaká. Thought about playing it square, but couldn't find Ronaldo. He'll have to settle for a corner. Gregory Vanderveel. Likely straight swap. The 25-year-old Dutchman. But it's Coleman who is going to come in for Lucas Mora.
Lucas coming in the middle of last season. Still not quite at that level we saw in Brazil, but you can see it just under the surface. Kaká with an in-swinger. Edge of the six. Ronaldo stuck the boot out, and Sirigu dove through regardless. He stuck the boot up high. That's what he's being called for. Kingsley Coleman, as we take another look. 17-year-old Paris native. Debuted last season, coming in for Verratti in a 3-2 loss against Sochaux. Youngest player to ever play with PSG. Rolling it back. Alex Tomota. Is there an equalizer in these final 15 minutes? Maxwell cuts in. Laid off nicely by Pastore. Coleman. The 17 year old dancing at the edge of the 18. Tries to turn again, dribbling his way into a trap, but then dribbles his way out of it. Nice round of applause from the fans in Sweden. Ferrati. Ongenda. Mota. Ferrati again to Mota. Ibra. Rattled inside the 18, and Cointrao just plays it safely. Knocked down Verratti, play on. Van der Veel with the touch, out for a Real throw. out in front of the audience it's extremely subdued as is the national identity of Sweden <laughs> and conservative great enjoying it and wonderful entertainment but I think Real Madrid will have something else when they go to Phoenix Arizona to play Bruce Arena as Los Angeles Galaxy and that place will be rocking and rolling all in for Ferrati should be a great night Laid back again. Ibrahimovic up for Ongenda. Zlatan. Oh. Top of the box, Coleman. Pastore oh. trying to feed it back. Knocked off Ronaldo's boot. Strong play by Kaká, but even stronger from Alex. Seems to have pulled something. Keep an eye on that. Here's Ongenda. Oh. Pastore into orbit deserve better well Pastore fails to recognize the wonderful overlapping run from Maxwell take a look arriving late around him Maxwell just needed that shovel pass into stride Pastore feels as if he can banjo it a goal nowhere close Sonny Kadira will exit Alvaro Morata will come in so Ronaldo will slide a bit deeper and Morata will push that front line. Morata seemed to be the only player on Nacho perhaps towards the end that came up from the Castilla that had Mourinho's stamp of approval but such promise. Yeah, Morata and Jesse two players highly tipped to be giving a lot more playing time under Ancelotti. I say especially, in fact, there were those arguments in the middle of the season from Mourinho criticizing the reserve side for playing a different system than the senior side. And Hesse, who was drawn comparisons to a young Ronaldo, seemed to be the player that was victimized the most. So him in the under 20s, what talent he could be. Here's Coleman. He's just past Pastore. PSG needs a goal. They should be thinking forward. Slotted to the inside. Di 
Di Maria. Almost as Kaká let it run. All the veterans are the backup keeper Adan have been played by Real Madrid. So another sub to use if they wish. Astori on the turn Coleman. Agenda on this near side if they can find him. Astori. Casemiro seemed to have a bit of a grab. The referee said play on. And now at midfield Cohen Trow got pulled for a loop by Verratti. He's so good in positioning and tackling, but he was dribbled around more than any other midfielder in your last year. For a foul at the other end against Agenda, and I think he had a bit of an axe to grind, but there's no question that that one is an intentional clip on Cointreau. Laurent Blanc, stoic on the sideline. sure if he saw what he was hoping to in the second half. Uh, they've had a lot of great opportunities, Phil. They're not playing against bread and butter either. This has been a, a good ding-dong battle. Both these teams have had glorious opportunities. You tell me who created the real big, big chances. I would argue that PSG had equally as many as Real Madrid, maybe even more. Agenda kept it alive. No, he didn't. Actually offside going back to that initial touch. So busy watching slot that he forgot where he was. The goal from Karim Benzema has got to do a lot for his confidence and for Real Madrid's real belief that they've found the next Raul after sharing the spotlight for so many years. Ricky's teammate Benzema and Higuain shuffling between them for so long, sharing the spotlight, but it seems as if Benzema is going to be the number one hit man means to be seen if he'll be joined by Tottenham Hotspur's Gareth Bale to accent them even further, but without Bale. This Real Madrid side, tonight's performance against this good, good PSG team, look as if they're going to have a lot to say about who wears La Liga's crown at the end of it all. Kaká to Ronaldo. Skipped away for Uzi. Looks like he's going to play the full 90. Carvajal. Maybe a blemish here or there, but a very good game for the new right back of Real. Pressure as Pastore forces it back. Stepping in now, actually Coleman forced to retreat. A shake and bake for Cohen Trow, but a strong tackle from Vanderveel. In for Uzier, sees the run of Ronaldo, but follows to Kaká, and the shot deflects wide of the net. Takes a deflection on the way, I believe. Yep. Good run by Ricky. A bit sharp there was acceleration. The first two or three steps from Kaká. Something we haven't seen for years. Truly, just that little burst there. His first two steps. And then swinger is here to go inside his six. Drops back to his goal line. Cleared by Alex. Eight minutes remain in regulation. Good flip, but missed the run of Ronaldo. Zlatan playing with fire, but Pastore. They're leaving Ronaldo in the center. And Morata out on this right wing. Touched into the middle. Morata steps up. Gendo wide. Vanderveel. Back for Ongenda. Back for Vanderveel. The Dutchman flipped it and up and out for a throw. Have a swing, although well defended. 
again for Maxwell on side. Slots it in. Slots it to Coleman. Now back for Verratti. Another chance for Maxwell. Touched back by Ibrahimovic. Verratti didn't hear the footsteps. Kaká. Shades of Milan, but now he's knocked free. Off Pastore, wide for Ibrahimovic. Poked across the goal line for a corner. And he's waking up a bit in these final few. Lopez. Barking instructions. Pastore. Still loose. Ongenda tried to flip it in. Pastore. And Ongenda trying to win it back from Ronaldo, who takes the hit and wins the free kick. Samiro, Ronaldo, Morata sliding into the center. God dragging Alex with him wide. And he just couldn't put the brakes on. Kaká even with a smile on his face. Laboring a bit. That's Chelsea man. Two in the box. Di Maria will leave it. Baca whipping it in. Knocked aside again, Alex. A karate kick to get it out of danger. On Jenda, the young Parisian pushing forward to his fellow Paris native, Coman. Quickly back. Real Madrid, Coman though creating space. Plays it square. Pops up on Pastore. Slot then moves. And the opening shut down quickly by Cohen Trau. Still in play. Vanderville. Coman. Verratti. Slatan. Stops. Oh. Starts. Chips. But just off. Wonderful, audacious flash of his brilliance here. Tries to engineer the rainbow to that back post. Wonderful hesitation and set up for his stab, but just can't get it right after 86 long minutes that he's been totally involved with. No wallflower. Ibrahimovic heavily involved and feeling it now a little bit. Going trial. Grabbing his arm. Wonder if he got stepped on. Just to be safe, takes a seat. Ray, even though one of them is not here, the top five transfers of all time, <laughs> you could say on display. Ronaldo, of course, the man. On the bench now in Zinedine Zidane, Ibrahimovic, Kaká, and then Cavani would be the fifth, at least unless there is a big check sent to White Hart Lane. Luis Figo, another one. Dating back to 2000. Well, I know he's not quite up there, but young Ilaramendi is going to be just out of picture. Real Madrid paying. Absolute king's ransom for him. And I think they might have gotten their money's worth. A lot of people wanted Ilatamendi. What was it? About forty-five million dollars. But I don't think anyone expected Real Madrid to pay that. But they saw something they really liked at Sociedad. We were talking. Does Modric fit into that Xabi Alonso role? Ilatamendi fits into a T. 
Well, it's got a lot to catch up though, Phil, with the red beard. I can tell you, this World Cup winner in those boots that Ila Remendi, if he comes close to Xabi Alonso's class, world class in ability, and he'll be a tremendous player for Real Madrid. Good cut back by Ronaldo, freeing Uzu, sends it wide, Di Maria cutting it back for Kaká, lets it run. Casemiro playing a modest game, the Brazilian here today. Another player down for PSG. Is it Silva? Thiago Mota. What a game by the 28-year-old veteran. Another drop ball from the referee as we hit the 90th minute. Probably not a lot of time to be added on. Both of these teams have some traveling to do. DSG again in Gabon to face Bordeaux. Of course, Real Madrid to the States. A little bit of a push. Yeah, against the Galaxy, as we said, in Phoenix. And Real Madrid can get past Landon Donovan's men, and he'll play the winner of Juve and Everton. Poke free, Kaká dummied it through, Ronaldo on the other end. I see that's a mouth-watering one, Real Madrid against Di Juventus, Maria. if that does work out to be the case. It's going to be a real humdinger that will take place in Los Angeles if that does happen. Verratti sending it wide. Some fans saying, what about all this travel? Is it really right? Well, from a fan's perspective, who doesn't get the chance to see them every day, like here in Gothenburg, looks pretty good. Kaká lets it run. But just on the wrong side. Good effort from Kaká, but nothing to show for it yet. Five minutes to be added, so maybe there is an equalizer here. Perhaps a second for Real. Coming to Verratti. Round with charging Pastore. Slotten on a trailing run. Flipped wide on Jenda, and he tried to make it special. Good set up by Pastore. Jenda drifting out beautifully, and Zlatan, even at this point in the game, going to that back post. See, not the fame me earlier. Ronaldo exchanging a few pleasantries. Maybe to do with the amount of time that's being played over time here. Keeping it wide, but now chance in the center. Now settles and turns. Real Madrid practically leading this clock a bit. Trying to keep it away from Alex and company. Nicely going trial for Ronaldo. Draws a foul just outside the 18. Played Verratti like a violin. Mota it was who got the boot in. Well, short time here at the end. And is this going to be a cabaret hit by Mr. Slick? Is this going to be a one man pop as we know? The five steps back. The gunslinger pause. And he knows something wicked is coming his way. And now Cristiano, who was mourning that there was five minutes <laughs> left, is very happy for this shot. 
out of the dark, perhaps, from the dark invader himself. 25 yards out on an angle. Sudegu, not easy to beat. Drops back to the center. He wants that wall to move a bit. Ronaldo drives it in. Oh. On a hop, the rebound. Bangs Deals with away. it nicely, doesn't he? Sudegu sees it through the wall. Unlucky. Them eyes. Demonic. Wonderful strike. Pops it right in front of him. Goalkeeper deals with it well, Phil. Bouncing awkwardly right in front of him. Coming at him at speed. Well played. Sirigu. Morata couldn't quite turn it towards the net. So a chance now for PSG. Just over a minute left. Long ball for Kingsley Coleman. Wins the throw in by pressuring Pepe. Who's had a good game in the back for Real. After being thrown into mothballs by Mourinho. Slatan, will the Swede be the hero on his native soil? Renati shows, chipped in, looking for Iva, but short. Tola. Over for Mota, poked free. Alex, back for Verratti. Spins. Nicely. Not free, though. Good hustle by Casemiro. Maxwell dropping back. Music. Morata wants a go and sends it long. That early shot maybe gives PSG one last chance. Ibrahimovic spins, poke free briefly. Forgot to tell Morata that Ibra was in the spotlight. Knocked free, and Real Madrid will hold on. Benzema's first half goal. The difference in this one. Well, you know, very appreciative of the quality that was served up here today. Jewel strewn throughout the field of play. And some lovely entertaining football put together by Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. New signing stepping up nicely for Real Madrid, some nice introductions, but his class again, Ibra, was magnificent to watch, as it was through Mesut Ozil and the emerging superiority up front of Karim Benzema for the winner. It was a lovely, lovely goal engineered by Mesut for Big Benz. And overall, PSG had the firepower to answer and eclipse. Aye, aye. But still, they weren't able to finish off their chances. Levetzi it was that came through and produced some wonderful efforts, but some poor, poor finishing has got to be highlighted. Take a look back as Ibrahimovic passing along some.